good morning dear students how are you all i hope you all are thorough with the various kinds of nouns that we did yesterday we did five kinds isn't it first one was common noun when we talk about something in general isn't it that is termed as common noun it can be the name of person animal place or thing isn't it then we did proper nouns proper nouns are the specific names proper nouns are the particular names given to certain common nouns for example rajiv gandhi sunday january the amazon diwali isn't it then we did collective nouns when we talk about group of people animal or things for example team jury herd then we did abstract nouns abstract nouns are word for feelings that cannot be seen or touched isn't it then we did material nouns material nouns are words for the substances from which different objects are made or prepared then we did one more classification of nouns that was countable and uncountable nouns today we'll be doing the another classification that is gender students listen to these sentences carefully pramod is a tall boy pramod and boy are the names of males isn't it names of males a noun that is the name of any male person or animal a noun that refers to a man or a male animal is said to be in the masculine gender for example husband brother lion boy man uncle bull ram what are all these masculine gender isn't it next sentence seema is a beautiful girl now in this sentence seema and girl are the names of females isn't it so a noun that is the name of any female person or animal a noun that refers to a woman or a female animal is said to be in the feminine gender for example wife sister lioness aunt cow getting it i hope you all have done ling in hindi this is the same thing children gender in hindi is termed as ling you must have done istri ling and pulling what is pulling masculine gender and what is istri ling feminine gender getting it now listen to the next sentence she cuts an apple with the knife now she is a pronoun very good i was trying to confuse you all now when i talk about apple and knife these are the lifeless objects non living things a noun that is the name of a lifeless object a noun that refers to a thing that is non living isn't it is said to be of the neuter gender it is said to be of the neuter gender it refers neither to a male nor female for example pen chair mobile desk file paper magazine what are these neuter gender they denote a non living thing a noun that denotes a non living thing is said to be of the neuter gender next students should respect their teachers isn't it am i right or wrong 
right isn't it students should respect their teachers student and teachers are the words that can be used for both male as well as female so that means a noun that refers to either a male or a female is said to be in the common gender for example friend a friend can either be a boy or a girl doctor can either be a doctor aunty or a doctor uncle isn't it teacher can be a male or a female cook can be a male or a female so all these are the examples of common gender when i say parent are you able to make out whether i'm talking about the father or the mother no that means parent is a common gender name of a person or animal that may be either male or female getting it very good dear students now we'll be learning the formation of feminine nouns how to form them there are three ways of forming the feminine of nouns the first way is by adding suffix ess at the end of the noun or you can say by adding ess to the masculine for example author the feminine gender for author is authoress we added ess to the noun author to the masculine gender author second one heir we when we add ess it becomes heiress host becomes hostess peer the feminine gender is peeress poet the feminine gender is poetess priest priestess lion lioness but in some cases students ess is added after dropping the vowel of the masculine ending by adding the suffix ess after dropping the vowel of the masculine ending or you can say vowel of the masculine gender like tiger when you drop e and you add ess it is pronounced as tigress the feminine gender for tiger is tigress waiter waitress hunter huntress emperor you just omit o that is vowel o and it becomes empress is it correct no you will be omitting e as well as o e is also the vowel the spelling is e m p e r o r e is also omitted o is also omitted that is why it is kept as empress it remains as empress founder foundress hunter huntress prince princess i hope it is clear to one and all waiter waitress songster songstress seamster seamstress the next way of forming the feminine of nouns students some feminine nouns are formed by changing a word before or after in the masculine form for example if i talk about masculine gender grandfather the feminine gender of grandfather is grandmother great uncle great aunt landlord landlady peacock pea hen billy goat nanny goat in this the change is before or after before yes man servant the change is before maid servant 
landlord the change comes afterwards land lady i hope this is clear policeman police woman the third way of forming the feminine of noun some feminine nouns are formed by a change of word by using an entirely different word masculine gender boy what is it girl brother the feminine gender of brother is sister husband wife children can you see the entire change king queen stag doe horse mare wizard witch fox vixen drake duck gentleman lady is it clear students now students listen to this important note sometimes we use a common word for an animal isn't it we use goat when we say goat we are not aware whether we are talking about the masculine gender or the feminine gender similarly when i say pig can you make out whether i am talking about the masculine or the feminine no so the masculine word for goat is billy goat and feminine word for goat is nanny goat for pig the masculine word is boar and the feminine word is sow sheep the masculine word is ram and the feminine word is ewe swan the masculine word is cob and the feminine word is pen we use a common word for an animal and special words for its male and female are you getting it i hope you all are clear with the concepts of gender the various classifications of gender i hope now the concept is clear that there are four the gender is classified into four kinds isn't it what are those very good masculine feminine common and neuter very good that's all for today's class tomorrow we'll be doing the noun number the singular and the plural form of nouns okay students the homework will be uploaded on the portal kindly complete it in time okay have a good day bye